Okay, for this video, I'm going to show you how to make a bootable ISO. Um, this is going to be a little bit tricky because the ISOs you get from Cisco's website are actually not bootable. Um, and there's a couple videos out there, and most of them use Ultra ISO, which is 30 bucks. which this is probably the only thing I would ever use it for. I don't really want to pay 30 bucks. Um, so I saw another video and a tutorial about how to make it just using um, 7-Zip and uh, CDR tools. So I'm just gonna uh, follow that one um, and just kind of copy what they did so that that um, this process of making the boot bootable ISO is in this channel and in this series so people don't have to go all over YouTube looking for it. Um, so if you already have an ISO you can just skip this video and go on to the next one where we're gonna install it. But you are going to want 7-Zip. I already have that installed, um, <clears throat> but you should have no problem finding that. I mean, it's very straightforward. Um, just do a Google search, you'll find it right away. And then uh, CDR tools, which I will put into, uh, I'll put a link for that in, um, in the description of the video. And uh, let's get started. So I will go ahead and download the English. Uh, I will choose this one, which is going to bring me to a redirect. Maybe. It's spinning and thinking. Okay, it brought me to this page and then the download already happened, um, so I'm not going to do it. It downloaded right here, so I'm going to click and run that. English. Next, I will accept that agreement. Next, uh, make sure you have multi-language supported. Unless you speak German. And install. And finish. Okay, so got that installed and running. Now the next step is to use 7-Zip to extract my non-bootable ISO, which I have in this folder right here. Um, actually, I don't. It is on my desktop. Um, let's see, right here. So, 7-zip. And I'm gonna extract them, and I'm going to actually choose this folder. And that's going pretty fast. I will resume this video once it's finished. Okay, so that finished. So I'll go into the folder where I distracted it, and it is in this folder here. Uh, I need to go to ISO Linux, and I am going to copy the bin file, go back to the root of this folder, and I'm going to paste it right there. I had one from earlier, so I just went ahead and replaced that. So then I will go back to CDR Tools and go to Options and choose where I want to save the image. And I'm going to put it back into that same folder here. I'll call it CUCM 12.5. Bootable. Then we'll say create image only, do not burn, and disk at once. Then click OK and go to file system. And then I'm going to do create boot disk. No disk emulation, and then choose the boot image. Um, it opened up right in that folder. Actually uh, missed one thing when it hit cancel. Um, Got to also choose this. So then back to this, ISO Linux, and then open, and OK. OK, and then I'm going to go back to the folder. 
I'm going to highlight them all and copy them over. Then I'm going to hit start. And it's checking file system. One second. Okay, it hung, but then it started, so that's good. And okay. And I will just let it do its thing. And there it is. Hopefully it works. So I will try that out um, in the next video. But um, before we get to the next video, we are also going to need the um, virtual machine template. Uh, once again, if you have if you have a Cisco account, you should be able to find that and download it directly from Cisco, and that's going to be the easiest way to go. And I can put the link up to that um, page, but yeah, you can see if you go to Downloads Home for um, software at Cisco.com, Unified Communications, Call Control, Unified Communications Manager, and Unified Communications Manager 12.5. Um, you'll have virtual machine templates right here, and then once again, if you have the, if you have the account, um, you'll be able to download that. I have one, so I'm going to download it from there. But also, you could find this information online to create a virtual machine uh, manually. I will see if I can find that and add a link to that as well. And yeah, a quick uh, Google of uh, virtualization call manager 12.5 brought me to this page where it tells you what you'll um, need to set up. So I will, uh, this is the one I'm gonna set up right here. Um, thousand users. Um, <clears throat> so you could just uh, manually create a, a machine using those uh, specs, but I will actually use the OVA template provided from Cisco. Okay, so um, in the last video I installed the SXI on an old uh, machine that I got from Facebook Marketplace. Um, so if you need something like that, uh, go ahead and look at the, the last video I made. Otherwise, you could use VMware Player too. But I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to open this and um, test this ISO. I will call this um, Lab CUCM01. And I need to select it. Um, downloads. That's what I downloaded from Cisco's site. Um, and actually, I haven't set up my data store, so change of plans. Uh, for the sake of just testing the ISO and making sure I can boot it, I'm going to temporarily use uh, Workstation 16. Um, so I will call it uh, lab CCM01. Two thousand five hundred users, I guess. Um, okay. So I successfully um, imported the OVA, and I am going to make some changes. To this, I'm going to use an ISO image, so I will browse to the image that I just created. Uh, and here it is. And that should be all. So now this is the part where I cross my fingers. This is the first time I've done it, so I'm not sure if this is actually going to work. Let's see what happens. Nope. One second, let me try that again. I had forgotten to do um, connect it power on. Now I'll try again. Oh, and this is a good sign. Mm, not sure about that part. Let's see. What I want is that old fashioned blue screen. And it worked. Terrific. Um, if you're using VMware Player, then you can just continue. In the next video, I will uh, set up a data store and we will try to get Call Manager up and running in uh, the ESXi host that I built on my old computer. 
Um, thank you so much for watching, and I just want to give a shout out to the YouTube video that I ripped off for this series, WMX99. Awesome video. Go check out his channel. Looks like he does a lot of collaboration stuff as well. Thank you so much for watching.